This is lesson 11 of 20 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. This lesson marks the start of part 3 in this course. In part 1, I provided an overview of Joomla and explained what you would need to use it. If you haven't watched those lessons yet, I encourage you to do so by looking for the link to lesson 1 on this page, or depending on where you're watching these, look for the playlist. Part 2 starts at lesson 4, and this is where I demonstrate how to install Joomla. And for the remainder of these lessons, you'll learn all the basics of Joomla. Let's now take a look at the site that was created as part of the installation process. I'll refer to these pages as the front end. Content management sites like Joomla are displayed using a file called a template. The site you're looking at is driven by a default template that comes with Joomla. You can use this if you like, but most people either choose a template from a template designer, or they engage a template designer to create a unique design. You'll learn more about templates in Lesson 18, and there is a list of recommended Joomla template suppliers on our website. There are two aspects of a template to consider. Firstly, there is the actual design, which includes elements such as the logo here, the colours, the fonts, number of columns, and so forth. These are primarily controlled by the template file and something more advanced developers would be familiar with, cascading style sheets. The second aspect to a template is positions. Think of a template as a bunch of boxes. Each piece of content needs to be placed inside a box. Joomla calls these boxes positions. These positions are determined by the template designer and therefore vary from one template to another. When a particular page is requested, Joomla sticks all these boxes together to form a complete page. Every piece of content that appears on a page has been assigned to a position. I show you how to view the positions available in the template lesson. For now though, I'll overlay some boxes on the default Joomla template to give you an idea how this particular template is constructed. Firstly, there is the main body position, which needs to be present in all templates. There are positions at the left, There is another position above this, and one at the top. The second point to understand with the front end is modules. There are two types of content that appear on a page, and I like to refer to these as primary content and secondary content. Primary content are your main articles and these appear in the main body position of the page. Secondary content items appear in other positions. Now, each position can contain more than one piece of content. For example, at the left, there are two menus and a login form. That's three pieces of content. Each one of these pieces of content is called a module. There are various types of modules included with Joomla, and I discuss how to incorporate them into your site in Lesson 16. But let's have a quick look now. In the top position is a menu module that provides links to other pages. I've already mentioned these left menu modules. The last one provides the ability for registered users to log into the site to view and possibly add additional content. Above the left column is a you are here type of navigation, better known to web developers as breadcrumbs. At the top is a module that allows your site visitors to search your site. 
There are additional modules built into Joomla and hundreds of third-party extensions available. Note also that you can specify that modules appear on all pages or just some pages. These concepts will make more sense as we start to use them, but let's look at a quick summary of the front end. Joomla pages are powered by a file called a template. Templates consist of design elements and positions. Modules are assigned to positions. They can contain text just like a normal article, or they might provide specific functionality, such as a menu or a banner ad. Now here's your exercise for this lesson. If you started at this lesson, I recommend you visit our website to download the free companion workbook to this course. Just look for the book on our home page. If you've been following along from the start, you might like to have a look at our recommended Joomla template designers on our resources page. In the next lesson, I'll give you an overview of where you control your site and its contents, the Joomla Administrator. <laughs>